Hi guys, welcome back. So, a new thing for my channel that I will be doing is reviews. I've not done a review yet. Obviously, I used to be a professional pool player. With me not playing on the circuit anymore, it's allowing me to do reviews of all the products, cues, break cues, jump cues on the market. And today, we're going to be doing the first review. It's going to be the Synergy Breach Break Cue by QTech. So first of all, I want to thank you guys at home for helping me figure out the key points in a product what you guys are buying or are going to buy. And we've nailed it down to four things. Number one, how does the queue or product arrive to your house? Number two, what does it look like? What do you get with it? Number three, what does it play like? That's what it's mainly about. How does the queue perform? And number four, price against performance. So let's get back to number one, how does the queue arrive? So as I said, number one, how does the queue arrive? And as you can see, it does come in a lovely box. I mean, I'm not like getting excited about boxes, don't get me wrong, but I must say the way this queue has come, you know, there's been a lot of thought process goes into this box. As I've just said, I know it is only a box, but it's very solid, very sturdy. You know, traveling with the couriers across the world or wherever your queue is going, it's hard to see this queue being damaged, it really is. And as you open it up, three magnets, cool little touch that, so that keeps the box closed. As we open it up, we've got loads of information on here. We'll go through a little bit of that in a moment. And this is foam overlay. Even this, just a little thing like this where you can put your finger in. That might, might not seem much to most, but I like things like that, so you just pull it off. And there you have it, the Q-Tech Breach. Break Q, so what do we get? The Q, that makes you feel a little bit special. You've got a logo, you can stick that on your T-shirt and try and pretend you're professional. And then we've got the wipes. These are very important with your Q because this is what cleans your carbon fiber shaft. There's 24 cleaning wipes you get with your queue. So overall, I think they've done a phenomenal job. This is, like I said, very sturdy. You know, the queue's not moving and, uh, you know, fair play to QTech. So that is number one covered. So number two, what does the queue look like? First impressions, very nice looking queue. As you can see, black, red, bit of silver gray going on. This queue is also available in another color. It's called the ghost version. And I'll drop a picture of that particular queuing at the end. Um, as I said, black, red, silver, very nice looking queue, very 21st century. Uh, I certainly wouldn't be embarrassed pull it, pulling this queue out of my uh, bag on a pool night and getting a ribbon off the boys. So yeah, very nice looking queue. Now a little bit about the queue. The butt is 29 inches and the shaft is 29 inches. That's standard length. Obviously that's a 58 inch queue. The tip, is a 12.75 millimeter tip. It's a Power Pro taper. And just looking down the line of the shaft, yeah, that all looks very nice. Sometimes cues can look a little bit thick or a little bit thin, but you know, that all looks quite even and uh, yeah, very nice. Um, it's a super hard phenolic ferrule and it is a TAM 2.0 brake jump tip and it's white. I will come back to the fact that the tip is white a little bit later. I think that's a good touch and I will explain uh, later on in the video. The Q comes with joint protectors. The joint is a 3814. Let me just unscrew this. It takes a little bit of unscrewing, but 3814s do. But I kind of like that and I'll get to that in a moment. Let's just unscrew this one off the shaft. Right, I'm gonna screw it together. As I said, it's a 3814 joint. It takes a little bit of screwing together. Not too much, about five or six seconds. What I love about it is this stainless steel polished collar looks very sexy, very nice. But at the initial point, when they meet, a lot of cues, that would be it. 
and, and now and again the cue can come a bit loose. If you just give this an extra turn, you can really feel that tighten up and, and I, do, I do like that. Now the shaft is the Synergy carbon fibre and it is very, very, very smooth. You get 24 wipes with the cue, but I've had this cue and I've done a bit of braking with it already and I've not cleaned it once and it's still really smooth and I don't even use a, a, a glove, so yeah. And as you come further down, they've got the, the high gloss um, butt end of the cue where you hold. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the, the grips on pull cues. I've always kind of liked just the, the wood feel, if that makes sense. So I like that. Now, it's, they've sent a 20 ounce to me. I've always kind of played with 18. This cue is available in 18, 19, 20, 21. Now, if we look at this, you can unscrew the butt cap which is unusual because I've always known that you can unscrew like the rubber bit at the bottom and change weights and stuff. So if we just unscrew this, that means we can take some weight out of there and add and all that. Yeah, so all in all, very nice looking cue and um, yeah, can't wait to test it. Number three, how does the cue break? One of the most important things you guys will want to know. Let's hit some break shots. I'm gonna do some 10 ball, eight ball, nine ball breaks from the center of the table and from the side rail. And let's give you guys some feedback. So I've hit a few breaks there, I hit about 30 breaks uh, all together, 8 ball, 9 ball and 10 ball. The first three breaks here at 10 ball, I actually parked the rock, so that was pretty good. Overall, just a few things I want to point out about the breach. The white tip, it's the Tarm 2.0 brake tip, very, very good tip. That felt like I had loads of control on the cue ball. Um, you know, the cue ball weren't moving all over. I, I didn't really like put a big practice session in on the braking. I come in cold braking. So to get so much control, you know, straight away was very good. And with it being white, when I was uh, aiming up to the cue ball, I could see like the white tip and it, it almost like um, highlighted the fact that it was there. So I really like that. You know, it was, it was almost like if it was a bit darker, I couldn't see it. And not that I would hit the cue ball, but I just felt like that was... Um, you know, a good thing what they've done and, you know, that was a good touch. The weight of the cue, this is 20 ounce. Usually I use 18, which is what you can get, but I was quite happy with 20 ounce, to be honest. Um, I felt like it had a lot of power. I wasn't going uh, too crazy braking. I, I could have unloaded a lot more. Um, so overall, I think I would happily, happily use this brake cue. Um, oh, and another thing, I don't brake with a glove. A lot of people do. And this felt so smooth. I haven't cleaned it at all. I went straight in braking. Uh, since I've had the cue, I've not cleaned it once. You get 24 wipes with it. So, yeah, I mean, overall, as I've said, fantastic cue. Now, number four is price for performance. Now, Shane Van Bonin, arguably the best breaker pool has ever seen. Ferro Gorse, current world nine ball champion, they break with this cue. So, from what I've said and what my opinion is, two guys like that using the brake cue, 649 US dollars. I don't think that is a bad price for this cue. Until next time.